Hello, and welcome to another episode of Allison Saw Something Super Weird on the Internet, and then took it upon herself to scour said internet to purchase said product so that she could use it on her own face, not only to satisfy her own curiosity, but uh, to hopefully entertain a few of you. So, yeah. So a while ago, I started seeing um, videos kind of like this. And it made me super curious <laughs> because that looks interesting, right? The problem was that uh, um, none of the videos that I was watching explained what the product is. So it took me forever, forever to finally like Google the right words in order to find this product. Um, and it turns out it's seaweed. Um, so I purchased two different kinds. Um, so this one is the... I'm not gonna try and pronounce that because I know I'll butcher it. And, um, that'll make me feel bad. So... There's that one. This one just says seaweed mask on it. Uh, and then I got this one. It says seaweed particle mask on it. There's a quick, uh closer view for you guys um the vast majority of the um like all the instructions and everything are in chinese so i did um so i did google translate what i could um and i think i got the gist of it this one does have some english um the instructions are extremely vague it doesn't give me measurements or like specific amounts it just says to use, take appropriate amount of product into a bowl and then take another appropriate amount of water and put it in the bowl and then put that on your face and wait 20 minutes and then rinse off with water. That's all it says. This one actually, when I when I Google translated the um, instructions on the back, this actually gave me um, a little more specific uh, instructions. This is what it looks like, by the way. It's just like... I think they're seeds. I could be wrong. But they're just teeny tiny seeds. I think I'm going to use this one today because this one I'm pretty sure is a knockoff. I'm not 100% sure, but it like it doesn't seem very well made and this isn't the packaging that I kind of assumed it would be coming in. Um, and the ingredients that it says it has in it on the back, um, the ingredients are in this one are apparently um, the extracts of Olaria algae, soluble collagen, frankincense extract, milk protein, mineral oil, sorbitol polyether 30, uh, four oleic acid, hydroxypropyl ester, butadine, toluene and essence whatever essence is but you open it up and it's literally just it's just seeds there's no like there's no mineral oil or milk protein or frankincense extract in this that i can see i they're just the seeds um there's no doubt in my mind that this is exactly the same thing as this, but I'm going to be using this one today anyway because this one at least doesn't give me weird ingredients that it doesn't contain. This just says the ingredients are seaweed particles. So like it's it's a little bit of a red flag that this gives me um like a full list of ingredients, but all that's in there is just seeds. So I won't be using that one. This one actually has like a little, it's got like an actual metal top on it to keep it sealed. That just, I don't know. I like the packaging. I like it. It seems more secure, I guess. Um, so I did have to Google translate 
the instructions. Um, so I think I, I got a pretty good idea of um, what to do. The other one was not helpful. You know, the instructions for this one uh, were a little more specific. It just basically said, however much of the product you're using, use three times the amount of water. So for example, I'll be using a, a tablespoon. So if you use a tablespoon of this product, use three tablespoons of water. Algae and uh, sea kelp and seaweed and stuff like that, they have been formulated in skincare for many, many years. Um, there are a lot of benefits that certain types of um, seaweed and algae and stuff like that can have for your skin. So I was very intrigued by this. Um, and what this claims to do um, is it's supposed to be uh, deeply moisturizing, deeply hydrating. It's supposed to help tighten pores. Uh, it's supposed to help whiten or brighten your, the skin tone, um, make it less dull, uh, specifically good for drier skin types, supposed to help fight signs of aging, uh, all that fun stuff. So I'm just gonna pop this baby open. <gasps> that had a nice crack to it. I don't want seeds to fly everywhere. There. Hmm. There we go. There they are. Ooh. They stick to you. Okay. They don't really have much of a smell. Because, I mean, like, it's dry seeds, so what could they smell like? So, I got my bowl, got my tablespoon. And I'm going to try and do as much of this so that you guys can see it as possible. So I'm dipping this in. I'm going to just use one tablespoon. There's one tablespoon. In the bowl. Water. Just regular tap water. So because I have one tablespoon of uh, seeds, I'm gonna use three tablespoons of water. If there isn't enough water, um, I can always add more water. One, two, three. And then you mix this up real well. <gasps> Can you see what's happening? It's turning gloopy. So that's basically what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to turn into a jelly. Yeah, I'm gonna need more water. So the seeds absorb all of the, um, the water very quickly and it creates this, this paste. They all gel together. There you go. Um, more water, I think? Here, I'll put a little more water in. And I'm just gonna use my hand to squish it around. All right. So there it is. Ooh, that's what it looks like. It's kinda got the consistency of like, like snot or something. It's fun to play with. So what I saw the ladies doing was just basically like stretching it out like this and then like lay it on your skin. Like, eh? But I don't know how they got it to do that. So I'm just gonna knead it for a sec to like, I don't know, incorporate things? I have no idea. So I'm trying to like stretch it out Oh, that feels so weird. <laughs> it's like all over here. <laughs> So I don't know how the ladies in the videos got this to go on the face all in one piece. 
I don't know what kind of trick I'm, you know, missing. And I probably didn't mix it quite right. So I'm just trying to squish it into <laughs> like a face mask type kind of situation. This is a nightmare. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Eh. If you've used something like this before, let me know down in the comments if there's <laughs> an easier way to do this. Because there's got to be one. There's got to be an easier way to apply this. There we go. I kind of got it all on. Awesome. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll be back. So this has been marinating on my face for about 20, 25 minutes now. Um, I think that's long enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it or try to. get it all mostly okay I just got a a wet cloth here I'm gonna get any little bits that may still be hanging out on my face like <laughs> all of this around here So I'm just going to go ahead and insert a photo of myself like before application um, so that we can see whether or not it actually brightened my skin at all. I won't know until I'm editing this, but... Um, I have a sneaking suspicion it didn't do much. My skin does not feel that hydrated. It just, it basically feels like it did before. It was very cooling though, I will say. It had a nice cooling effect to it. My skin feels nice and cool. It doesn't seem to have bothered my skin at all. I don't know whether or not this would have, you know, a positive effect on my skin long term because this is my first time using it but I don't know I think it's fun to try this would be a, a, a fun thing to use for like a girls night when we're allowed to have those again my skin doesn't feel any more or less moisturized or hydrated than it did before I applied the mask but it's fun it was fun to use. Um, it was gloopy, it felt like snot, um, and who doesn't love that? I think for the like $2.30 I paid for this, I definitely got my money's worth. Yeah, that's it for me. Um, thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, please consider giving this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Lip smackers, the smackers for lip smackers. So, so, <laughs> anyway, hmm, hi. Is it still going? I have no idea what editing Allison is gonna put up there, so I guess we wait. 
Okay, that's enough. Uh, so yeah. That's what I thought. Now I'm gonna... Ugh, it's in my mouth. Ah, it's in my mouth! 